I don't know if you can see them, but there's three shed bowls right there on that hill. I think we'll head up. We're gonna park a car here and then park a car up there. You can't see them, but they're up there, I promise. Day two, folks. We came on up. This track right there? Right there in the snow. We came up a little bit higher. Give us about 30 minutes, we'll be on the horns. Stay tuned, folks. Uh, we're a couple hours oh, in. A couple hours into the hike. I've been coming off this big ridge line. The only thing up here is moose sign. And, uh, you know, enjoying the view. We're heading down way, way down. We parked one car down there. And we parked one car way up there. So that way we could do a lot of downhilling and glassing today. Uh, it's a beautiful sight. I'm just right on this heavy trail. It's heavy. Like, wide. Moose like that. From what I've heard. I was in there. It's just so thick. You can't see nothing. Anyway, I just want to show y'all. This is what a pile of moose crap looks like. It's big. That's a big moose. That's probably the second biggest uh, size poo I've seen. I seen some rubs right up there. I'm gonna keep following this down, just like Martin Jack Chag told me. I, I don't know how to say his last name, but he's like the best shed hunter I know that I've been watching on video. He's my favorite. Sorry to everybody else. I like you guys too, but Martin's the man. And uh, hoping to pick up pick up my first moose paddle today. And if not, I got a couple more days. This is day two. Dead eyes over in the bushes. We're gonna meet up over here. Uh, stay tuned, folks. Look, more. So I'm on the right track. Stay tuned. Ah, uh, soon as we drop down. All right, folks. Number 59 of the year. See what it is. It might be a brownie or last year's brownie. Hey, look at that little guy. Thing. He's got hair on it. Yeah. I don't know if you can see him, but there's some elk right in there. I'm going to try to get closer so you can see him. I'm just on this tree line and glassing out in the grass when I see the elk. But I just found. Lucky charm, hopefully. This one says caution. Shark zone. Caution, shark zone. Hopefully that will bring me some luck. Let me see if I can get closer to these elk and get you a better video. All right, thanks for watching. They're about to be off to the races. Well, they sniffed me, but there goes a little herd elk. I tried to get closer. All right, stay tuned. Let's see if I can find some horns. I come out of there. I don't know how many miles we're at, but earlier I showed you a view from way up there we came through the Aspens, up all this ridge line down this ridge come out here it's a pretty good view obviously the video don't do it justice but uh thought I'd show you since we're here all right we're about midday wish me luck I'm getting skunked right now Old Dead Eye's got one. Let's see what he's got anyway. He's already got a video, but look at the background. Ooh, it's got a lot of color. Get some waterfall behind it. Shoo-wee! All right, we're about to hit this honey hole. We well, I think we're roughly at the six mile. 
We got Golden and I. Come over here, take a break, get some food. He's like, I just need to see something, you know. We see a base. A little adrenaline boost. Yeah. And he says, he says the key word, Marco. And I'm like, what the heck? And then I look over. He points it out for me. He's got himself a nice little, nice little antler there. Check it out. No skunk. Old, chalk, broke, chewed. This is the match from your one yesterday. That's what I needed. One tine. <laughs> Two tines. Call it three. Here we go. We're going to get a little protein power eggs in us, and then uh, we're going to turbo along out of here. Stay tuned. Ain't no hot dogs and tortillas, right? No, no, not, not ever. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, cold night. We're up here on that hill up there. Scared it back and forth. Oh man, what is that? Anyway, kept skirting it. And looked in this field and said, you know, looks like the field of dreams there. Got me a nice little elk over here. I'm hoping for there. Oh yeah. That little guy. Chewed up, beat up. I couldn't be so lucky. I found my match. We'll find out here in a minute, folks. Well, this morning we seen the elk from right there. We seen him right here. We're sitting here taking our break, relaxing. And I looked down this hill because I thought I'd seen something over this way. So I looked this way, and bam, there it is. Walk up on it. Heck yeah. What's awesome is the bulls that we did see, they had about six inches of velvet on them. I doubt this will be one of them. I think this one sat. I just think that the bulls return here to this hill almost every year. This might be a little elk. Yeah, sure is. Looks to be older. Little tiny guy. I'll take it. Number 61, baby. All right, I just picked up a antler right back over here off these two rocks. And as I did, I looked down the hill. I said, oh, yeah, there's another one. And so I had to go up the hill and get my stuff again. So I left it up top like a silly person would. And now I'm walking up on this. I'm hoping it's my match, but I don't think it is. It looks like a whole nother horn to me. But it very well could be. We'll find out. And I don't know if that's a stick. Yeah, it's a stick over there. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Nice. I think it might be, folks. Yeah, that should be a match. He, well, he came down this hill or he went up this hill, one of the two. But that sure is such a little guy. Maybe 28 inches long. Well, till the next match set, folks. Well, just a little bit ago, I picked up my match. It's right over there. Found his buddy up there. Decided to walk around, do a few circles. Just looking around, looking around. And I see another one. I don't know, this might be a muley. It'd be nice to be able to know that there's muley here too. But I think it's another elk. Yes, it is. And I'm not sure if this is the match now at this point. I'm going to have to compare. We'll have to see, folks. No way, these horns all look the same. Look at that. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but that's a beaver down there. I'll take you to it. What the hell? I was going to go that way up the road. I'll go down this way. Maybe it'll bring me some luck. Give me some horns and you can see a dead beaver. Oh, shit. That's a big beaver. Hmm. <laughs> Paddle, little feet, big little fat boy. Huh. 
All right, then. I got that one chalk, so we're coming to the end. Wish me luck. So, before we get to the end of the video here, uh, like we said in the beginning, um, we left my vehicle at the bottom and we took Dead Eye's vehicle to the top. Well, when we got to the bottom, I left the keys in the vehicle at the top. <laughs> so I think we were like eight and a half miles in. I was wanting to coke really bad. I reached for my pocket to get my keys to unlock the door, and I knew right then that I left them in the door of the other car, the other truck. So what happened is me and Joseph met up. I was sad. I was feeling so stupid, like the dumbest thing I've done in probably, you know, a week or two. Easy. <laughs> Anyhow, so we start heading up the hill. It's like a two-mile beeline straight up. Death hike, uh, steep, sharp rock canyons, not knowing what's behind them to the next climb or whatever. So we got all this crap on our backs. So we get heading up the hill and I'm moaning and groaning and yelling at myself and calling myself an idiot. And I don't know, we're 70 yards up and the truck flies by and I'm like, man, let's go to the highway. It's like eight miles around if we go to the highway and hope for a ride up this long dirt road. Anyway, so the truck goes by and just like, what do you think? I'm like, man, we should go back down the hill and da da da. We go back down the hill. You know, nothing for a while. We're getting back up to the first vehicle, deciding if we're going to put the bags down and keep walking or what we're going to do. It's a wreck, man. It's a wreck. So then, like, within the next two minutes, we we start hearing this loud truck coming up the dirt road, and old boy stops. His name's Rug, and he, he's old, old school. He's got a cowboy hat and dentures, and he's got him a little drink. He's, drank, he's got a little drink in the woods out there. <laughs> anyway, we start begging him for a ride. He's like, I don't know, you know. I'm like, man, we might get hypothermia if we if we don't make it up there tonight. And he's like, yeah, you, you probably will get hypothermia. <laughs> and then he decided to give us a ride up the hill so we could throw him some money and stuff. And, uh, man, it was a lot longer walk than I wanted to do at the time, so... I was feeling dumb. Joseph's a positive guy. Dead eye, he's a real positive guy. <laughs> the positive outlook. I was pissed. Anyhow, I had to be there. That's what happened in between scenes here, between the beaver and the next video. So I'm going to throw this one in there. And, you know, we made it home. So, yeah, don't ever leave your keys up the hill if you're coming down the hill. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you can. Uh, stay tuned for the end here. We made it back with our little haul here. Josh is somewhere over here. Oh, it's in the back seat. Oh, it's in the back seat? All right. Fuck that pink chalk. We'll show you later. Yeah. <laughs> Just met a gentleman named Rug. Real nice guy. Brought us up the dirt road. We made it back, baby. So you already did a video about me being an idiot with the key? No. Oh. It's over there. Here it is. Got back to camp. We're having dinner. Some nice fat old pork chops, more ranch beans, some green beans. Anything but tortillas and hot dogs. day two we were up there all day then we came down and my dumb ass forgot the keys you'll see that video that dead I recorded later how we uh, got a ride from this hillbilly rug <laughs> shout out rug if you're listening or watching bro so I got the one and you got the five Yo, Dead Eye's heading home. I'm going to give her another shot tomorrow. Thanks for watching.